All about a level up. Hi ladies. So if you are subscribed to my channel, you would know that I've been struggling with my eye bags for a very, very long time. Even more so since I got my nose job. So the first problem that I have with the skin on my face is the bags under my eyes. Do you guys see that? I'm not crazy, right? There's bags there, right? So that's the first problem. The look that I'm going for is the finished look that you get after applying makeup. Something like this. Now, just recently, I finally was able to do something about my eye bags, which is why my face is all taped up. I just had surgery, so please excuse my appearance for the next few episodes of this series. But I'm kind of upset. Here's why. So originally, I was only aware of these two treatments, which are getting fillers, are doing it the old-fashioned way by using ice or a cooling eye mask, for getting rid of puffiness or shallowness under your eyes. But, like many of you guys, I was on TikTok scrolling and scrolling and I scrolled onto this viral post of this lady claiming that she found the trick for fixing her eye bags, which has also been one of her insecurities, like mine, for a while now. Let me show y'all. So this is the video that I'm talking about. This lady on TikTok, she goes by the name of Trinidad1967, and she's using this under eye magic cream. So here goes the video. With you guys, you see all these bags under my eyes? I'm 54. So like I mentioned earlier, she's very self-conscious about the bags under her eyes, which was caused by her age. Like as you get older, your skin loses its elastic and that's what happened to her. In my case, it was genetics because like a lot of people in my family have like pronounced eye bags. So I got it. So you can get eye bags either because of age or because of genetics. In my case, it was genetics. In her case, it was age. Anyways, I'm very self-conscious of them. And I found this. And it works amazing. I'm going to show you. Let me squeeze this out. I just put a little, a little bit on. So it's very good that you don't have to use a lot of product. You just have to use a small amount. I like that a lot. And I'm only going to do one side so you can see the difference. And now we'll wait. So she waits three minutes. And this is after three minutes. After three minutes. Can you see the difference? That looks really good. It works amazing and it tightens and it stays like this all day. I don't know if we're allowed to do it. So it's really good that it stays like that all day because a lot of other products don't stay like that the whole day. It only works for a few hours. That's absolutely insane and that product that she's using is called the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X Eye Cream and according to this TikTok user, the Peter Thomas Roth Eye Cream lasts all freaking day which is amazing but it's just a temporary eye tightener so please don't expect your eye bags to stay like that forever unless you apply it like every single day so i'm really mad because i didn't know about this earlier yes i already got my eye bag removal surgery but if i knew about this sooner it would have kept me from walking around looking crazy the months prior to my surgery now do i regret getting my eye bag removal surgery absolutely not yes this miracle cream will help you with your eye bags but it's only temporary my eye bag removal surgery this can be undone my problem is now fixed can be undone 
that cream is temporary and I was actually looking at the price of this cream on Sephora and on Amazon and the cream is sold out by the way and the normal retail price for this cream is not cheap so imagine how much money you will be draining your pockets if you were to rely solely on this product so no I do not regret getting my eye bag removal surgery also known as blepharoplasty. Now, who did I choose for my blepharoplasty? Now, this is a very intense surgery because it's close to your eyes, obviously. So it was super important that I found someone who knew what the heck they were doing. Now, the number one surgeon, in my opinion, would have to be MD Cami Parsa. Now, Dr. Cami Parsa is a surgeon located in Beverly Hills. Now you know, once you say Beverly Hills, this surgeon is going to be super expensive. But we will get into that in a second. But for now, I want to put you guys on to this doctor and show you what exactly he is capable of doing. Because girl, this doctor, he gets the job done. I'm going to quickly show you guys some really amazing cases he done thus far that Cami Parsla posted on his Instagram. So this is one of Cami Parsa case that he did. This is how she looked before surgery. If you look closer, she as well is an older lady. Um, and I'm guessing that her case is also because of age. I'm not sure. In her case, she has a lot of puffiness. So you can either have shallow eye bags or you can have puffy eye bags. And I believe that she has puffy eye bags. So this is her before. Day before surgery. So she has no makeup on her face in this picture. And after surgery. Like, y'all don't understand the difference taking away your eye bags can make to your face. Like, when you have eye bags like I did, it makes you look a lot older. And I already look young. So even though I have eye bags, I still look young. So now that my eye bags are gone, can you imagine how much younger I'm going to look? So I'm really excited to see how I'm going to look. But can you guys look at this lady? Like, this is three months post-op, and she looked like a completely different, youthful, beautiful lady. Like, she looked gorgeous. So as you can tell, Cami Parsa has amazing results. Now let's take a look at another case by Cami Parsa. So, I mean, how many injections of Truvederm have they given you? Last, I had one injection of Truvederm. So she had eye bags, and like I said before, like one of the treatments for eye bags is fillers, and that's what she went ahead and got was fillers, and the fillers that she got was Juvederm. But through the years, many, many. had built up. Part of what had happened was that you had this swelling that kept happening, yes, right? The total opposite of what we thought the fillers would do for my puffy eyes. Filler. So, like I said earlier, you can have two types of eye bags. You can either have shallow eye bags or you can have puffy eye bags. And if you have puffy eye bags, if you add fillers to it, all fillers is going to do is make it more pronounced over time. Dr. Zo, the one who did my PRP treatment, she said that fillers are like going to like hold a lot of water. I'm not sure. Either your skin or something is going to hold a lot of water. So if you have puffy eye bags, you should not get fillers. Fillers are only for people who have shallow eye bags. So she had puffy eye bags and she got fillers and this was her end result in the big long term are not really the answer for everybody and not everyone's a candidate. It's possibly maybe a short term solution to a long term problem. After failed attempts with fillers, she finally decided to go through and get her eye bag removal surgery. So the doctor did have to like dissolve the fillers so that's what he did first and then he removed the eye bags 
and gave her a lift. And that's how she looked one year post-op. You can't really see it because of the play button, but she looks gorgeous. So much younger. So, I'm, guys, I'm telling you, this doctor is the real deal. Cami Parsa MD is the real deal. So, this doctor, he has amazing results. And like myself, I know you guys are wondering what is Cami Parsa cost for surgery? So I actually have a friend that went to him a few years ago and at that time she was quoted 11 k for her surgery. But now it's 2021. Cami Parsa prices have most definitely gone through the roof. And plus, like I said earlier, he's located in Beverly Hills. And they don't play about plastic surgery over there. They just wait in for the day when they can finally charge $1 million for one procedure. Anyways, child, as I continue to research on this doctor, I was kind of impressed like he barely had any bad reviews, which is expected due to how talented he is. And the only bad review I was able to find was actually on realself.com. So these are the only two negative reviews I found on Dr. Cami Parsa on realself.com. The first one is about a consultation. So this person, she had a consultation with Dr. Cami and she felt like he was very inconsiderate about how she felt, very cold, disrespectful, and rude. So this is more about like the consultation, not really about his skills. But of course, you have to take this into consideration. Every review you have to take into consideration. But this is literally the only one that we see. But still, you have to take it into consideration. The next one we have um, about a eyelid surgery this patient had. She said she got uneven results. She said, I knew something was wrong with my left eye three months after my surgery. I went to Dr. Parsa many times with my concern and worries over my left eye. Still to this day, no answer to my question. To fix a bad lower blepharoplasty. I had a lower eyelid retraction. So apparently she have uneven results. Let's look at it. And if you look at her eyes, I guess this eye is bigger than this eye. So it's understandable for her to be mad. Dr. Cami Parsa actually responded to this person and responded with a very logical clap back. And he said, I am sorry you feel I was not able to help you. As you said in your review, you came to see me for a revisional surgery, which means fixing a previous bad surgery done by someone else. These cases are never easy because the damage done previously is too much. I wish I was the first person who operated on you. I hope you know our office is always open to you. So this is very logical. She had a very bad botch eye surgery in the past and the doctor tried the best to his abilities to fix her problem and he fixed it as best as he could but she's still very unsatisfied and his answer is very logical he claims that the office is still open to her so that says a lot so overall this surgeon is the real deal but if you guys been watching me for a while now you know i'm always going to look into other countries before i make a sure deal with a surgeon located in the u.s because not only are they expensive in the u.s but sometimes like it's a hit or miss if you go to a doctor in the US. US for some reason are way too overpriced for my liking. Notice how I said my liking because I know Dr. Cami Parsa costs may be the perfect price for someone else, but not really for me. And on top of that, Dr. Cami Parsa is booked a whole year in advance, 
which is understandable because how good he is but I want my surgery now so in the next part to this video we're going to be doing a little bit more research on this surgery and doctors who perform this surgery because we need to find a good doctor so guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week for surgery Friday bye ladies all about a level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Yeah.